I was covering the team at the time. My eyes were telling me some Jordan rules going on here. So let me go write a story about this. And I would always get this. What are you talking about? There's no Jordan rules. We're just playing tough, physical, like anybody else. Advanced at getting fouls on the big people, so instead the Pistons will force him to come to the middle of the floor off the dribble, trying to get help from the next defender. You'd say, what, what about the Jordan rules? And they say, what Jordan rules? And they'd say, well, what about this defense you're playing on? We're not playing anything special. And they all laughed and they'd wink and then they'd move on. They also need to be concerned about pick and rolls. They'll trap everyone. And while Michael's doing his thing, just kind of creating, they'll run the next guy at him to double team him no matter who it is. But keep this in mind, Mark, they don't always use the Jordan rules. Oh, they didn't preach it. They didn't brag about it. But it was on display. Jordan to the foul line, room in the lane. Isaiah grabs him. And... I, stopped. I wasn't watching the game no more. I wanted to study what was in Michael Jordan. I'm like, what's in Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan got something in him. You, you, have, you know, it's a whole lot of NBA players, but you ever notice when you watch the game, there's just some guys, they just on a whole different type of level, right? And when I study, if I'm at, so I'm gonna give you three things, I'm letting you go. I'm gonna give you three things that's within these people that make them do what they do. And one of the things, if you've ever watched Michael Jordan, if you've ever watched Kobe, and I'm not a fan of either of the two, but I love greatness. Catch what I just said. I'm from Detroit. I can't stand Michael Jordan. We probably would have won about four championships. The thing that I love most about Michael Jordan was the last time he lost to the Pistons, he cried. And when he walked off the court with the tears in his eyes, you know that one when you lose and you ain't even got no sportsmanship? You know that one? Normally, you know, you lose, you just man up. You, you don't want to shake their hand, but you do it anyway because that's a part of the game. But when you get so, when you get so tired of losing, when you get pissed, when you can't take losing no more, you lose the whole little shaking the hand and you just walk off. And Mike walked off with a tear in his eye. And let me tell you something. He walked off and said to himself, this will be the last time the Pistons ever beat me again. Dwight Howard, no respect for the kid. None. I, he, I, look, okay, I want to show you because you think I'm playing. I, I'm going to call Dwight Howard and tell my man he need to let it go. Because I do the same thing. Me and the, I'm on the same level with Dwight. I'm the same one. I wear this when I speak. I'm Superman. I, Wherever I go, I wear this because I'm like, I'm the best at what I do. My man Dwight got on one of these, he called himself Superman. The team was losing by 18 points. He was over there smiling. Y'all I'm, I'm clueless, y'all losing. Listen to me, even when you lose, it's okay to lose, but you can't never get comfortable with it. It's all about desire, you just gotta come out here and do what you gotta do. The game of basketball has been everything to me. My refuge, my place I've always gone when I needed to find comfort and peace. It's been a source of intense pain, a source of most intense feelings of joy and satisfaction, and one that no one can even imagine. Michael just laboring to get back to that defensive end, just trying to get to the finish line. Jordan looks in over Los Angeles, the basket, keeps it over the top of the air, yeah! Sweat just pouring off Michael Jordan, no time to rest now. Demanded the ball, back Michael, open three, yeah! Good.